Most of America are not familiar with Evie Pomporis, but she is quite a remarkable gal. The reality is that she has a unique television show at this moment of time and may have more coming. It is really swell. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what we do for a living, but there's always living proof that retail employees lie, steal, and cheat you and me out of our consumer rights. Consumer rights belong to everyone, and consumer rights don't belong to an employee who's immature and who likes to steal from everyone. The liars in the hood taint people. I'm just going to say it like that because tainted people come from all colors and all areas of a life. You see, a college-bound student can give up on their journey and quit school. Then they end up in retail. And retail comes in many types, many shapes, many forms. They might be selling paint. They could be selling pants. They could be selling pussy. Who the fuck knows? But if I'm rude like this, you're paying attention. But here's what I know. I'm literally sleeping in my canvas to keep the wind from hitting me at night. I've set the whole thing up to be booby-trapped. So the next time that shitbag assailant tries to come in on me, it will fall and trap him in it. The problem is that it may trap me, but that's okay. Because God is my shepherd, and I shall not want. And that has been the truth of the magic of the Lord. The problem is that an alcoholic that alleges he's an alcoholic may not be an alcoholic at all. He might just be that guy from Indianapolis who's a policeman who failed his job. And because he failed his job, he was able to sell his lie up and down a block, getting other people to participate in harming and harassing someone that he is totally and completely jealous of. You see, he never made it to making a wife, and he never made it to making being a father, and he never really made it as a son, because he failed himself. But I'm literally in my tent after going back to sleep a second time, and I'm hearing someone shout at me, do your motherfucking job. And he shouts it twice, but he's trying to not sound like himself. Now, maybe that's something that his police captain said to him before he didn't go further in his work. Or maybe that he got in trouble for the behavior that he exhibited on a very fast-paced street corner downtown Indianapolis, one that my father's company used to be near. I think it might have been 42nd Street in Keystone, where my car conked out because he was playing with technology. Now, I can produce a storyline or I can produce the truth. But the truth this morning is that a man who works at the Dollar Tree thought he can yell and shout right before his boss, who's been participating in this, drove in with her windows down. I guarantee the timing of it, she heard him croon. But here's the deal. Whether he's an alcoholic with a difficulty or whether he's just an actor from his old life, That's not on me, and it's not on you, but it is on their company for his behavior. My question to these people in retail is, who gave you my website? Who gave you my YouTube channel? Who gave you the information that's abusing your mind? You see, when I create storylines, I create storylines. When I create scripts, I create scripts. When I create quips, I get those from the Lord. And openly, so does everyone else in the world. So when you're trying to interact with me as a lying sibling, you've lied because at no time were you involved really heavily in my life at all. Maybe we got together occasionally for a Friday night dinner because my spouse was off elsewhere working legitimately. But your lie is you think you know something about me. Your lie was what you said to police officers that destroyed my life in a sinful manner in front of the Lord God in heaven. And your lie is thinking you're still going to win something before the Lord when you have no God. When do you attend church? When did you do your job? In the case of a different person, maybe you're a great father. But my guess is you failed as a son and you most definitely failed as a brother. You see, you're walking with your mother, 
which means you've not really built the life you should have. In my next audio cast, we'll talk about the life of a real man.